If you have been on the internet in the past few months, you have probably seen the horror stories of bed bug infestations. These little bloodsuckers invade a house and scurry away into every corner of your home before coming out at night to slurp up your blood. Reading about them is enough to make your skin crawl without knowing how hard they are to eradicate. But blood drinking is not limited to bedbugs. The natural world is full of animals that are happy to siphon off their prey's blood for a nutritious and tasty meal. Here are 10 other animals with a hunger for blood. Number 5. Vampire Bat One of the most famous hematophages, blood eaters, of the animal kingdom is the vampire bat of Central and South America. Three closely related species of these bats live exclusively on blood that they take from vertebrate prey. How they do this is both clever and creepy. The bats have numerous adaptations that allow them to get away with their blood theft without detection. Instead of swooping down from the air and attracting attention, they creep along the ground in the night and hop up onto the animal that they have located with special heat sensors in their nose. Then they cling to the animal and use exceptionally sharp teeth to shave away any hair at their target site. These teeth lack enamel and are much better at cutting than other mammal teeth. Then, a tiny incision is made in the skin for the blood to escape from the host. Number 4. Lamprey Lampreys are strange-looking fish with an unusual life cycle. Many of them hatch from their eggs as almost blind larvae and burrow into soft sand. There they spend years sucking floating detritus out of the water and growing slowly. After several years, they emerge as fully formed adults. In some species, the adults never feed and use nutrient preserves they acquired as larvae to support them in the hunt for a mate. Some species, however, do feed, and they have a hunger for blood. This hunger has been present in lampreys since the Jurassic era, so they have had plenty of time to perfect their hunting technique. The lamprey's mouth is a sucking funnel filled with radiating rows of teeth. The lampreys use their mouths to latch onto other fish and rasp their way into its flesh. They then suck the blood straight from their prey, leaving large scars behind. For some reason, as yet unknown, lampreys have the largest number of chromosomes of a vertebrate species, with some having as many as 174. Number 3. Kissing Bugs While most blood-sucking animals are named after vampires, for obvious reasons, somehow, these animals got named the cute-sounding kissing bugs. While bedbugs get much of the attention when it comes to vampiric insects, at least they have the mercy of being small. Kissing bugs can be up to an inch long, 2.54 centimeters. One of the first European reports of kissing bugs feeding on human came from Charles Darwin when he described an attack for it deserves no lesser name. He studied how the insects fed and noticed them running toward any finger placed on a table. The kissing bugs swell enormously as they suck the blood from their prey. They can take on more than 12 times their own body weight during a single meal. Where do they strike? They like to find sleeping mammals and aim for the thin skin near the eyes and mouth, but any skin is a goal. For most people, the attack goes unnoticed, but it can have catastrophic effects. As the insect becomes bloated on blood, its urine and feces are forced out by the pressure. These can be laced with the organisms that cause Chagas disease. If these get into the host's body, then they cause heart damage and even death. Number 2. Oxpeckers take advantage of their hippo hosts. Sometimes in nature, you will find sweet interactions between two species that offer benefits to both partners. These mutualistic interactions are sometimes anthropomorphized as animal friendships. When it comes to the oxpecker bird and the large mammals it visits, the relationship is anything but cordial. The oxpeckers live in Africa and, as their name suggests, can be seen pecking at oxen, rhinos, zebras, giraffes, and hippopotami. In Swahili, their name means rhino guard. For a long time, it was thought that the birds were simply helping the other animals by feeding on ticks and other parasites that live on them. Then, it was seen that sometimes the birds deliberately inflict wounds on the larger animals and open up old ones. Once this is done, the birds dip their beaks into the flesh and slurp up a little blood. It's not just their blood that the animals visited by oxpeckers have to watch out for. The birds will also consume moose flakes of skin and earwax. Number 1. Horseflies Horseflies are beneficial creatures to many plant species. They like to lap up nectar from flowers. And while they do so, they help pollinate them by carrying pollen from plant to plant. But when it comes time to breed, the females have to look for a more exotic drink. The mouth parts of female horse flies are specially adapted to feeding through vertebrate skin. Attached to their mouths are viciously sharp stylets. When the horse fly lands on its prey, it latches on tightly and then thrusts its head forward to pierce the skin. 
then it gets to work by moving the stylets back and forth to make a wound. As the blood wells up, they sponge up the liquid and swallow it. The female horsefly needs to drink blood as the nutrients are necessary to develop their eggs. While some blood-drinking animals have the courtesy to inject an anesthetic when they eat to make for a painless process, horseflies do not bother. Their bites can be very itchy and hurt long after the fly is off to start its family. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up on subscribe button. If you found this video informative and exciting, we love hearing from you, so feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below.